For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A plan to break former de facto president Janine Añez out of prison by the main opposition leaders with help from some embassies in Bolivia was made public by the Executive Committee of the Permanent Assembly of Human Rights of Bolivia. In a statement, the organization said that it denounces before the Bolivian people that a possible escape of Ms. Janine Añez Chavez, who is being held in the Miraflores Women's Prison, is underway. It is important to note that Añez tried to run away from Bolivia twice before her arrest after the left government took office. The first attempt was on November 23, 2020, when the process to seek justice for the numerous crimes committed by former ministers and officials of the coup and Sol government had just begun under the democratically elected government of President Luis Arce. The second time was on March 13, after the prosecutor's office ordered her detention and charged her with terrorism, sedition, and conspiracy concerning the plotting and execution of the coup d'etat in November 2019. Añez, who illegally seized power after Morales' departure and declared herself interim president in a session of Congress that met without quorum, also faces charges of breach of duties and resolutions contrary to the Constitution and the laws. Meanwhile, Janine Añez was in the news last week for her suicide attempt in jail on August 21st. The mainstream media amplified the pleas of her children and allies, asking that she be transferred to house arrest on medical grounds. Añez, who was responsible for the massacre of 37 people in Zacala and Zencata and the persecution and torture of hundreds of other people, was arrested in March of this year. The suicide attempt happened three days after the interdisciplinary group of independent experts of Bolivia came up with a report on acts of violence and human rights violations committed during the 2019 coup d'etat in Bolivia. It was also the day after the prosecutor's office charged her with genocide that could punish her with 20 years in prison. The primary targets of the coup regime were those who took to the streets in rejection of the coup and in support of the democratically elected socialist government of the then president Evo Morales. The report also confirmed that the violence was characterized by ethnic and racial discrimination. It is divided in eight chapters and 471 pages long and a product of eight months of investigation. During these months, the experts interviewed 400 victims, victims associations, civil society organizations, witnesses, recorded their testimonies and analyzed over 120,000 files to clarify the truth. The report details the social and political climate that preceded the general elections in October 2019, as well as the climate that succeeded the elections, after they were contested for alleged irregularities and forced the resignation of former President Morales. Several human rights and social leaders and government officials consider that the report will be fundamental in judicial investigations that are already underway and will open up a new stage to justice, reparation, and reconciliation in the country.